new tools, digital tools for democracy, which are uh, privacy aware, decentralized and surveillance free in order to devolve power to the citizens. So we've been working with Finland, with Iceland, with Spain, uh, and then aggregating many people that are doing experiments around democracy, for instance, uh, citizen initiatives, uh, where citizens collaborate to write law that then can get voted to the parliament, like in the citizen initiative in Finland. We've been working in Iceland with Your Priorities, which is um, a website that has pioneered e-democracy and was used to rewrite the Islandic constitution. We've been working with the citizen movement that have transformed the politics in Spain, uh, started with 15M, that were an example on how you kind of reject uh, an institutional elite which is corrupt, that represents a system that is in crisis, that of course was uh, imposing austerity to the po population uh, with cuts to the public budget and uh, structural unemployment and uh, a lot of people felt disenfranchised by the political system and the only way to change it was to take powers into their hands. How we can build uh, honestly democratic technology that can serve the public good and benefit the citizens and not only private interest of big companies. This is a big challenge and in order to answer to this big question we need a network of cities, a network of popular movements, a network of radical uh, political parties and radical governments that understand the institutional shift we are living in and understand that we need a new politics and we need to to give also to young people a new space to practice politics together. Well, on, on one side, I think there is a need of repoliticizing the discourse around technology. So we're seeing a shift from um, all type of corporations to the new technology giants like Google, like Facebook, like Twitter, like Amazon, mainly US companies that are now aggregating a lot of powers into their hands and they're managing the, the new platform economy. So this is a new form of economy that has as the main uh, economic gains uh, with the aggregation of citizen data, uh, profiling people, um, to doing machine learning, predictive analytics that are based on all the information they gather about us. So there is a void of, um, there, the, we need a new, a new deal on this, like a new citizen uh, deal on data that puts at the center citizens' rights and uh, the, the need of reappropriation of this technology and the need for citizens to decide who, what can happen with their data and who on the data and for what purpose the data gets used. And so we need to use data in order to plan better services in order to plan a better city, in order to build public infrastructure and public services and, to, and also for the public social policies. So it is very important to regain a sovereignty, a technological sovereignty and a digital sovereignty over data. And that's why we need technologies like Descent.